music producers. It's Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com, and I'm finally, finally, finally answering the question. How do you clear samples in 2018? Let's talk about it. Music producers, you guys always ask me the question, how do you clear your samples, especially in 2018 when sampling is very rare, especially on a mainstream level. However, there are still hip hop enthusiasts. There are still music producers that pull from the records of yesterday. Now in the past, let's be real, the process has not always been so black and white. What you gotta understand is no sample is made the same. The original song or the master recording, depending on who the publisher is, it can be a more difficult process dealing with one than the other. So there's not really one universal way to clear every single sample. Well, that's until Tracklib came around and they sat here and meticulously went through all these songs, original songs, not loops and samples and one shots, original songs from the 70s, 50s, 40s, 30s. They brought all these publishers together and decided on a universal system that allows producers like you and I to clear our samples. Now, is it perfect? In my opinion, not quite yet. However, this has got to be one of the most fluid and easy process you've ever seen when it comes to clearing samples. Now, here's what they do. First and foremost, you go and create an account over here at TrackLib like you see what I have right here. First thing you probably want to go do, go find a tracks. There are so many songs here on this website. And like I said, it's from multiple years and multiple BPMs. You can actually search these things by their actual genre. So say I want to find a R&B soul song, okay? And the region, well, let's say North America. Let's say song key, A minor. And then let's go ahead and try, let's leave the BPM as is. And then the year, we're gonna go ahead and push it up to about 1970 to 1980. Okay, once we got that particular search criteria, now we can start listening to songs. You can listen to songs by literally clicking on the play button. Now, when you find some samples that have potential, you can do one of two things. You can either favorite it by clicking on the heart here and then making your own collection based upon that, or you can go ahead and add it to the cart. Now, when you go ahead and add it to the cart, basically what you're doing is downloading the song. You're not getting the sample clear by downloading the song. That's just the first process. They allow you to basically have the song in your possession for $1.99, and you're able to sit there and chop it up and see if it's something that actually has potential. And if it does, before you decide to release it to the public, especially before you decide to put it up for sale, you gotta make sure that you follow their rules. Now the rules that TrackLib lay out is that if they allow you to have that sample and you're chopping it up and you find a great chop, you love the song, you have to go back to the website and get a license for that actual sample. So let's go to one that I actually purchased. So I purchased this Tiger Trot Master song. I like some of the vocals in it. And because I already got the master, I downloaded the master for $1.99, they basically allow me now to go get a license. Now the licenses are basically divided into three different categories and I'm reading it off here. So there's a C category, a B category, and an A category. Now the A category are typically like big hit songs. Songs that if you're gonna sample those, you're gonna have to pay out a little bit of money. Uh, uh, that little bit of money being $2,500 to clear that. And it's really not even just to clear it, it's an advanced before you start paying out royalties. The B category for songs that are like in the middle of popularity, those are about 500 bucks as an advance, like I said, to get a license on that particular sample. And then there's a C category. They say about 98% of the songs on here are in the C category, and that's only 50 bucks. So imagine having a license that you purchased from this website for 50 bucks that basically gives you the rights to put the song out there. You can sell the song, you can put it out for free, but you have cleared your sample. Now, speaking of revenue share, you gotta let them know as you set this up. So if you go ahead and run this, put in your particular full name. So my name is Dewan Howard. My government name, like you'll be talking about. Okay, and the next step is you have to tell them if you used up to two seconds, up to 15 seconds, and up to 60 seconds of the original master recording for your sample. Why is this important? Because based upon how much of that sample you used, you're gonna have to shelve out a percentage of your revenue share as you start to put it out there for sale. So if you only use two seconds, you only owe them 2% of revenue that you account from your song. If you use 15 seconds, you gotta share 10% of the revenue. And if you use up to 60 seconds, 
seconds is about 20% of the revenue. And keep in mind, that's also in addition to that $50 license fee or that 500 license fee or that 2,500 license fee. But because they allow the revenue share, they're basically just saying, look, give us 10% of the revenue share for using the sample. We already have that advance, which says that at least we'll get paid out for this no matter what this song does. And as a song becomes more popular, you'll get your money back, they'll get a percentage, and your sample will be cleared. Now the next thing you gotta do after you got your license, you're feeling good, you're brushing yourself off, you're like, I cleared a sample, I can't believe I did it. The next thing you gotta do, you gotta register your song with the performance rights organization, like an ASCAP or a BMI. This is basically so they can keep track of the money that needs to be distributed out. In addition to your PRO, you're gonna have to also make sure that you register with the recording rights organization, such as a sound scan, or you can even use DistroKid. Tracklit provides you an email that allows you to be a part of their DistroKid team, and you can start sending royalties directly from the sales that you are getting straight from your DistroKid account that you're selling the sample that you just cleared on your original song. It don't get no easier than that. So when I first used the website in this beta, I thought it was the most amazing thing. I didn't share with you guys quite yet because I felt like there were still some things that were trying to work out. Only thing I wish it would have addressed more is sort of the language that we use when we're leasing our beats as producers. Maybe they can figure out some kind of percentage or some kind of number based upon it. Maybe they can collaborate with the air bits or the beat stars and they can figure this out so that we're able to just sell our beats. When rappers pay for the beats, as soon as the money comes into these websites, a percentage of that gets cut straight directly to TrackLib and everybody got their hands clean. But until then, just dip into the website. Go and sign up to TrackLib. I promise you, I'm just sharing good information. I don't have no affiliate links. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. I just wanna make sure you guys know I love being able to share this kind of information, especially about a topic that many of you have been asking me for quite some time, which is how to clear your samples. I hope this was very helpful to you. Once again, this is Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com. Have a good one.